Hey everybody, welcome back to Covers and Commentary, and welcome back to another episode of Drummer Reacts. Now, it's been a minute since we've watched anything from the first take, and I figured why not go back in strong with Creepy Nuts' song Bling Bang Bang Born, which I have heard the original of this before outside of the channel. Uh, sorry, I kind of like listening to music on my own outside of here once in a while, and also... They kind of went viral uh, with the op with it being the opening to an anime, so kind of kind of couldn't miss it. But uh, I did love the first take that they did before with um, Daten from Call of the Night. And I loved the soundtrack for Call of the Night, the opening, the ending they did, all good stuff. So I am really curious to see what they do here with Bling 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 Born, the first take. So let's dive in and have a listen. I need to watch more first take videos because these are always so much fun to watch. All right. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he cracked there. He cracked and laughed. That's great. That opening is so unique. I want to hear it again because it's like, it's it's such a unique opening, but also <laughs> I love the fact that he cracks up. I, I guess just because it's so outlandishly like ridiculous sounding, and I, I love it. So one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, listen to that guy go! Hold on, sorry, I want to go back and watch how he's just going at it on that turntable. Also, I'm guessing it sounds like he, they probably have the samples of the backing tracks, like doom, 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 like all that kind of stuff. Sounds like it's probably coming off of something sampled from his from that soundboard there so or from the turntable there so oh, I'm, i went too far and he already started one more time yeah he's just going at it the first take I missed that. Oh, yeah. They absolutely have his back vocals in, like, on buttons as samples. That's exactly how they're doing that. I'll explain that in a second, but I want to get to the chorus. Yep. So, all right, I know this is coming up on the chorus here. So what I meant by they have his backing vocals on samples and stuff is like, you can do this live in the, in the studio. It's kind of the same thing, but you obviously record it out and it becomes part of the actual main track. But the way that this works is um, he's got his vocals that he's doing, doing all of the main stuff you can hear him saying. Um, and when I say that they have his other vocals in samples, I mean that from the track that they did, they pulled moments where it's like da 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 or bling bang bang like all the background stuff you hear that he's not actually singing you take those samples and it's up to the guy the, the dj the uh, uh I, don't, I don't know their names i feel so bad uh i should really learn their names so i'm gonna be listening to more of their stuff but uh, the guy on the turntable with the soundboard and all that he has those samples probably programmed to buttons if i were to guess uh as well as a bunch of other sound samples that he can throw in here and there uh and the way that that works is in between those sections when it's like he finishes a bit singing and then 
boom, the guy on the soundboard hits a button and it plays that part, that sample off the button mixed in with the rest of it. It works really well live because it allows you to take moments that would otherwise be impossible for the lead singer to do because it would require him singing over himself. It lets him sing the part that he can do and then the, vo the voice sample to be played above that. Uh, I haven't played in a lot of bands that do that live on stage. Uh, I've seen it once or twice from bands that I've opened for with other groups, but uh, I've never really... I think the only times we've ever really had something like that were like sound samples, never vocal samples, though, if I'm remembering correctly. But yeah, either way, really cool. And uh, we're going to listen to that whole bit again, just now that you know what to look for. I love this. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, man. <laughs> I love it. You actually, they cut to it there when he does the bit uh, where he actually hits it. Oh, no, I don't know what that was. Oh, because the buttons would be on, like, to a beat time. That's another thing is, um, if you've ever played with GarageBand, you might have noticed this, but, like, um the turntable the whole setup is on whatever tempo the whole song is which is why he's not wavering from the original recording tempo whereas like live bands you have the click track but if you're not playing to the click track or you don't have a click track like i know foo fighters is famously uh like uh, usually doesn't go with a click track on stage things like that um <clears throat> or maybe not famously but i know they don't do it because uh dave girl doesn't use in-ear monitors so he's probably half deaf anyway but anyway um those soundboards and turntables and all that they play to the tempo whatever comes through them plays to the tempo of the of the song and so when you press that button it's not just like boom and it plays right away because you could press it and it's off tempo but if you know something's coming up you hit the button and it kind of boom and it times it in so like one two three button two 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 boom and then it plays the sound um so even if you hit the button it's like one two three boom and it'll hit it afterwards if it was on three four timing but normally if it was three fours or Four four would be boom to 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 play the song, or play the audio. So anyway, I was confused for a second. And I was like, oh wait a minute, no, he couldn't just hit it and have it do it because it would play to a time. So anyway, moving on. <laughs> I love the energy of this song too. Such a unique sound. Yes. So I don't know if you caught what he was doing there. So you see how he's got his hands. So you see how he's. I'm going to play it back here, but if you watch his hand. Um, he's going boom, 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 and he's sliding his hand back and forth on the volume slider. So that takes his entire mix that he's playing, whoop, 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 and uh, he's basically manually fading very quickly to volume back, volume back, uh, to get that effect so, dun -dun 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 -dun, that is going on with the beat. That's actually really cool. That's That would actually be something you would manually do um, not to time, uh, or potentially not to time. So that's really good. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I love this song so much. Oh, 
<laughs> it sounds so good for a one take. That was awesome. Oh, that was good. It's always really interesting when you hear artists like like Creepy Nuts with the whole uh, like I, I don't know. I don't know. I want to. I don't want to call it electric, but it does have an electric sound to it because well, it it is electric. But it is so funny how even though. In theory, you could play the track basically perfectly off of just, or you know, some people would say like, "Oh, well, you're just kind of just playing it off of uh, the sound is coming straight out of something electric, so there's no music or musical input required." Whatever, I, I've heard all kinds of stuff for like DJs and things like that, or you've probably seen the meme, you know, "What do DJs even do?" That, that kind of thing. But like, it still has a really fun, unique sound. You know, the vocalist brings the energy with his vocals while the the rest of the audio coming from that sound, from the guy running, the, the DJ running everything else, like all of that plays together so nicely. And yeah, it's really cool. It, it fills in the space that it should and doesn't really miss anything, uh, at least not from what I can really hear, but... Yeah, either way, that's been it. Thank you all so much for watching. Of course, I'll leave the links in the description down below. Go check that out and the channel, of course. Like, subscribe here if you want to see more stuff like this. And that's basically it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for being here, and have a good one.